I have heard your request. Many of you have enjoyed my last budget skincare swap video and many have requested that I do another one using Korean skincare products. So that is exactly what I'm doing today. Hi, my name is Dr. Jenny Liu. I'm a board certified dermatologist and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. All right, today we're talking all about budget-friendly, highly effective skincare swaps for some high-end pricey, splurge-worthy Western beauty products, but using only Korean skincare products. And this really came from requests from my last video, which if you haven't seen, I'll make sure to link that below. I pretty much did the same thing, but used mostly like products available in the US, like in drugstores. So if you are located in the US, looking for more like affordable alternatives, highly recommend checking out that video. Now today, the request is because many of you wanted me to make the same thing, but using Korean skincare products. And I mean, come on, who doesn't love Korean skincare products, right? They're really affordable, well formulated. I feel like the only thing is that shipping often just takes time, many weeks, and mostly because the online vendors are not physically located in North America. So I feel like that's the only downside. Now, before we dive into the products and the alternatives, I do wanna mention, I specifically stay, stick with alternatives or swaps because I personally do not believe in the term dupes. Feel like it's really hard to prove that a more affordable product is the same thing as a high-end because no two products are the same you know formulation is very nuanced and a lot of those are not available and just because you've had the same ingredient it doesn't mean that they're formulated the same way often they are not however what i try to do is look at the product the expensive ones and try to find more affordable products that have similar ingredients or function. And so that is exactly what I'm sharing today. So if you enjoyed this type of video, let me know what other topics you want me to address next. And also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. All right, starting off with product number one, let's talk about the luxury product and it's La Mer, the eye concentrate cream, which retails for $170 for 15 mil. I mean, that is tiny. Now I have to admit, I have used La Mer's products. I actually bought the set of eye cream and moisturizer traveling ones internationally like duty free and I have you know I think it was really nice and for me the value and the amount of money I spent <laughs> it was really just the overall experience you know the cream is very rich and creamy but honestly I feel like CRV nighttime renewing moisturizer or even ones from Sephora kind of provide similar benefits so I do really feel like for those that enjoy splurging in skincare it's not just the product formulation and the benefits but the overall experience which does make you feel more elegant Elevated, and certainly I hope you do get that feeling when you're spending 300, 300 plus dollars on a skincare product. But before we dive into the swap, let's actually talk about the formulation. Now, La Mer is really well known for using marine derived products, like namely algae in the formulation. In fact, their signature Miracle Broth really contains marine extracts, in particular blend of fermented seaweeds, and other marine ingredients to provide benefit. And this eye cream is really meant to hydrate, brighten, and kind of firm the delicate eye area, reducing the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, as well as dark circles. In addition, this product also contains what they call a clarity ferment that basically helps to restore tired looking eyes, helps to brighten along with lime tea concentrate that again may add some additional antioxidant benefits. Now, first of all, algae and marine derived ingredients is really popular everywhere. You actually see that quite a bit in Korean as well as Japanese skincare products. And certainly algae has is full with, uh, filled with a lot of great antioxidant compounds bile actives, you know, anti-inflammatory, great at hydrating the skin. And so I feel like that is really what you're getting with, you know, algae as well as marine derived ingredients. And that fermentation really helps to break down the compounds in, even into even smaller bioactives that can more readily penetrate the skin to help hydrate and offer additional skin benefits. All right, swap number one is from Hamish, the Marine Care Eye Cream that is retails anywhere between $16 to $36. Just depends on the online vendor, what you buy from. Um, it does come in various sizes, so the bigger size costs a little bit more. But this is a really lightweight yet deeply nourishing eye cream that really helps to hydrate the skin, helps to brighten, improve appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, really suitable for that delicate area around the eyes. Now, ingredient-wise, it does contain marine extracts, so a blend of ingredients derived from seaweed 
that can help to hydrate the skin and is full of antioxidants. It also contains two additional ingredients that are my personal favorite, especially when it comes to addressing anti-aging concerns. So number one, peptides. This one contains acetohexapeptide 8 that is great at supporting collagen, helping to plump the skin, and may offer some antioxidant benefits at the same time. Also contains niacinamide, which is great at brightening the skin, but does it in a more gentle way. You know, the eye, under eye area is super delicate, now, the traditional brightening ingredients could be irritating, but niacinamide can help with that and minimize irritation. At the same time, niacinamide also has great you know, skin barrier support as well as anti-aging benefits. So just great ingredient formulation all around that really helps to address anyone that is seeking a, a great elegant eye cream to help tackle fine lines, dryness, wrinkles, dark circles, and puffiness. So compared to La Mer versus Hemage, aside from the price, both really use, predominantly use marine and seaweed derived ingredients as a kind of the, the really key ingredients in helping with, you know, fighting uh, eye area concerns. Otherwise, La Mer uses like lime tea extract to really help boost collagen and elastin, while Hemish really focuses on like plant infused ingredients and niacinamide to address those concerns. So I feel like this would be a great alternative to the really expensive La Mer eye cream. All right, product number two is from Estee Lauder and it's the Advanced Night Repair Synchronized Multi Recovery Complex. Oh, that is a mouthful. And it retails for $125 for 50 ml. Basically, this is the iconic little brown bottle that we all see everywhere. It's kind of like what I think of first when I think of Estee Lauder skincare products. Um, and it's actually really popular in Asia. I know in China, every time I visit relatives and friends when I go back, this is like the product to get. And certainly Estee Lauder being a very well-respected beauty, you know, cosmeceutical company, they definitely make wonderful and and, you know, formulation, you know, and that works well. They actually do quite a bit of research, but certainly at this price point, it's not for everyone. But this bottle, let's talk about this formula first. It is really ideal for those who are seeking a serum, um, nighttime serum, to tackle anti-aging concerns. So namely fine lines, wrinkles, uneven skin texture, and skin tone. As far as like what is in this product, it contains hyaluronic acid, and that's fairly ubiquitous everywhere to help hydrate the skin. Also contains a tripeptide 32 that really helps to again support skin renewal, rejuvenation, may help support collagen synthesis. And also contains their exclusive Chronolux technology. We don't really know what's in here, but essentially it's a blend of ingredients that's mainly helping to again Again, support skin self-repair, self-renewal overnight as you sleep to help address those concerns of skin aging. Also contains antioxidants like vitamin E and caffeine along with lactobacillus ferment that is great at hydrating the skin, brightening the skin along with other flower and plant derived extracts. So just a really nice, elegant serum to use at nighttime for those who are seeking something that's not retinol based to address skin aging concerns. Now swap number two is from Misha, the Time Revolution Night Repair Ampule 5X. That ranges anywhere again between $25 to $50, just depending on the retailer for a 50 mil. So certainly a lot more affordable. Now the key ingredients in this ampule of serum, number one, I picked this one because it also is meant to be used at nighttime, a product that does not contain retinol that's mainly helping with skin repair and skin rejuvenation. So Time Revolution is really well known for what they call the trademark extreme ferment, which is a blend of 10 different types of probiotics put through the fermentation process to get various different types of bioactives that really offer benefits of what fermented ingredients do. So hydrate the skin, help to brighten the skin, support skin barrier function, support skin renewal. In addition, this serum contains other great, wonderful plant-derived ingredients. So like for example, plum, carrots, eggplant, blueberry. So basically plants rich in antioxidants, anti-inflammatory bioactives that basically help to again, support skin barrier repair and offer antioxidant benefits, help to free, fight off free radicals. And last, it contains what's called collagenier, which is a blend, again, of a seed and plant-derived oils that essentially help to improve skin texture and improve skin resilience. So comparing Estee Lauder versus Misha, both are meant for nighttime use, helping to support skin repair and skin renewal, helping to 
improve signs of skin aging, essentially what both they're meant to do. And both do incorporate like probiotic or fermented probiotic ingredients. And you know, for Misha, that is a huge part of their formulation. And Estee Lauder, that's not, a, that's not the key ingredient. Estee Lauder does use a blend of various things, including peptides, hyaluronic acid, and antioxidants overall in advanced technology to help with skin repair. For Misha, it's really using those probiotic and fermented ingredients in addition to antioxidants and other plant-derived ingredients to help brighten the skin, hydrate the skin, and support skin rejuvenation in a more budget-friendly way. So if you've tried both, I would love to hear what your thoughts are and which one you prefer more. All right, product number three is Dr. Dennis Grohl's Skincare Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peel Pads that retails for $92 for 30 treatments. I mean, this is definitely one of the OG exfoliating pads that we find at Sephora. I love it. I use it myself regularly. It's something that I love incorporating into my skincare routine once a week, twice a week at most, to help remove dullness, improve skin turnover, helps to brighten the skin. And the ingredients really do all those things, right? Especially for those who are struggling with uneven skin texture, skin tone, dullness, and hyperpigmentation. Certainly if you have sensitive skin, it's not the best thing for you. But if you have fairly normal skin and looking for a good like regimen, exfoliant to add into your regimen to address those anti-aging concerns, this is definitely one that I certainly have talked about in my in the, in the past videos as a great like thing to incorporate into your routine. Now, ingredient wise, it contains a blend of glycolic and lactic acid, two most popular used alpha hydroxy acids that are great exfoliants to target those you know uneven skin texture and skin tone. Also, does contain green tea extract along with chamomile, so anti-inflammatory, soothing, calming ingredients to really reduce some of the irritation that chemical exfoliants can bring on. And it's really easy to use. It comes in with a peel pad as well as a neutralizer that you swipe on your face, leave on for you know the, a lot of time per the instructions or sooner, and then you basically neutralize with the peel pad. Okay, now looking for a affordable swap, I picked MediHeal Phytoenzyme Peeling Pad that retails for $22 for 90 pads. So a lot more affordable. The ingredients are slightly different, but work in a similar way. So this one, I do feel like it's more suitable for all skin types, even those that have sensitive skin or have a hard time tolerating the one from Dr. Dennis Gross, this could be a better option for you. So let's talk about the ingredients. Number one, these pads contain more plant-derived, fruit-derived, natural enzymatic ingredients that help more gently exfoliate the skin. So for those that have a sensitive skin, these may be better options. For example, plants from like papaya and pineapple, fruit enzymes that offer more gentle exfoliation. So that is what's part of the, uh, these um, pads. In addition, it also contains a lipohydroxy acid that basically is a derivative of salicylic acid, but also has kind of properties similar to alpha hydroxy acid. So it not only does it tackle pores and sebum, but also does help with skin turnover and skin renewal like alpha hydroxy acid. So it's almost like an in-between. So it'd be great for those that have like poor congestion at the same time in a more gentle way at the same time helping to improve skin texture and skin tone. And it's definitely a lot less irritating than salicylic acid. So overall, I feel like these peel pads are great to use. I still recommend using it the same way, but I think it's even more suitable for those that have sensitive skin that have a hard time tolerating Dr. Dennis Gross. This, this would be actually a great alternative for that as well. So again, comparing Dr. Dennis Gross to MediHeal, you know, Dr. Dennis Gross is one of the great classic ones, well-formulated, and really will get you results pretty fast. And I feel like for Korean brands, many of the products, just kind of the general theme out of Asian skincare is that they use more gentle ingredients and really focus on skin hydration. Even if it's exfoliation, they tend to stay away from really harsh, high concentrations of alpha hydroxy acid. So that's what you're getting here with these MediHeal pads is that it's a lot more gentle using slightly different but similar chemical exfoliants to help improve dullness, skin texture, and skin tone. So a little bit more suitable for sensitive skin as well, but certainly everyone, anyone can use either of these, but with the latter from MediHeal, I think you're gonna just get better skin hydration and those results of improving dullness and skin turnover will just come with a little bit more long-term use. 
All right, moving on to product number four, holy girl serum of mine, which is Sea of Rulic from SkinCeuticals. That certainly isn't cheap. It's $182 for 30 ml. But this is the most studied vitamin C serum. I mean, I'm not gonna go into too much detail about why I love this product, but certainly it's not for everyone, especially for the price and sometimes sensitive skin individuals find it a little more irritating, but it does contain effective concentration, 15% of pure vitamin C, which is the active form of vitamin C that does all the goodness for our skin, acting as an antioxidant, help to brighten the skin and support collagen synthesis. Also contains 1% vitamin E, that is a great antioxidant as well, along with 0.5% ferulic acid. So just a trio of antioxidants that really help with improving skin texture, skin tone, antioxidant properties, and great one to incorporate if you have the budget into your anti-aging regimen every morning. Now, as far as the alternative, you know, I, I feel like this was the hardest for me to, to find. And I um, honestly, I'm not a big fan of using vitamin C antioxidant serums from Korea because number one, many Asian brands really use vitamin C derivative like ethylated or sugar, um, like ascorbyl glucoside sugar forms of vitamin C that are a little more stable than pure vitamin C, but don't have as much antioxidant benefits. So it certainly help to brighten the skin, but doesn't really offer a lot of antioxidant benefits for one. Two, many of the vitamin C serums have much higher concentrations of vitamin C. So you will see even like from example, Isentree or CosRx, it's like 23%. And I don't know how that's derived from. I actually didn't take too much dive, deep dive into the formulation, but you know, vitamin C 20% or higher, you number one, reduce the actual penetration. Studies have shown that reasons why most pure vitamin C serums are between 10 to 15%, because that is really the sweet spot. Higher concentration actually reduces their penetration. And two, higher concentration really leads to more irritation. And so because of that, unfortunately, I actually have not tried that many vitamin C serums from Korea. There, there's one Japanese brand that I mentioned earlier that I actually really love that is, I highly recommend. But since we're sticking to Korean brands, there's one that I think would be a good alternative for the following reasons. So my swap number four is from Goodall. Their green tangerine vitamin C dark spot care serum that retails for about $14 to $31. Again, a range depending on the online vendor for 30 mil. Reason why I I'm recommending this is number one, this is actually a serum that I have tried myself from Korea. Again, I haven't tried that many, but this one I definitely have. I love this one because it is great for those who are seeking a vitamin C derivative, mostly for skin brightening benefits. And some of the ingredients I do feel like can offer some antioxidant benefits as well, but I can't attest to how much compared to, especially like seafood, like that we know have the most number of studies. As far as the formulation from this one, um, in good all, it contains a scorpion glucoside, so a sugar form of vitamin C that's a lot more stable, but again, really helps with skin brightening. So helping with uneven skin tone, especially like if you struggle with like post acne marks, for example, this one would be great for that. Also contains arbutin, which is again, a more gentle brightening ingredient that overall helps with uneven skin tone and hyperpigmentation. Now, I also love this one because it does contain niacinamide. Now niacinamide, we don't talk about it a lot in the world of antioxidant, but it does actually have great antioxidant benefits. In fact, it is probably why it works so well orally to reduce the risk of skin cancer popping up because of its antioxidant benefits. And that's why dermatologists sometimes recommend for those that have a lot of sun damage to take oral niacinamide to reduce the skin cancer risk. So there, I feel like it does offer some antioxidant properties. Also does contain centella, derivatives of centella that again is more soothing, hydrating, and may offer some again, anti-inflammatory and antioxidant benefits. So comparing skin C to good old, I feel like swap number four really has the biggest difference in the sense like the alternative, just because it's so hard to match something in Korea to skin C. I mean, there's really nothing like that as far as formulation goes that I could find out of Korean vitamin C serums. And I also view skin C first and foremost as the most effective antioxidant serum, then comes with the benefits of skin brightening, helping with skin texture and skin tone. Versus good old, I first, 
for most of you, it is a great brightening serum because of the ingredients. And they may also offer some antioxidant benefits as well as skin barrier support benefits. So there you go. That's kind of the best thing I could find based on my personal experience and use. Now, if you have tried other vitamin C serums from Korea that you think offer great antioxidant benefits, please let me know in the comments below. I would be so curious to try myself. All right, last but not least, number five. Expensive product is from Drunk Elephant, their TLC Frambu's Glycolic Resurfacing Night Serum that I also love myself, but certainly is, is not cheap. It's $90 for 40 ml. This is a great leave-on serum that contains a blend of alpha and beta hydroxy acids to over time improve skin texture, skin tone, pore congestion, helping to tackle fine lines, wrinkles. And so that's what I really view it as. Ingredient-wise, it contains a blend of alpha and beta hydroxy acids as I mentioned earlier. So alpha hydroxy wise, you're getting a blend, I believe a glycolic and lactic acid along with salicylic acid is the main beta hydroxy acid as well as fruit derived extracts. So overall kind of just basically do what chemical exfoliants, leave on chemical exfoliants do. And how I like to use them is basically once or twice a week, replace my topical retinol at night with a chemical exfoliant to really work together that skin cycling trend to overall improve my complexion, skin texture, and skin tone. So swap number five, I'm going with Isntree, their chestnut BHA 2% clear liquid that again retails anywhere between $15 to $21 for 100 ml. This one is great because number one, it does contain BHA. So even though BHA, we think of it more for like pore congestion, acne, oiliness, it does also offer some chemical exfoliating benefits. I mean, it is nevertheless a chemical exfoliant. So it does help with hyperpigmentation, especially acne related, as well as dullness and uneven skin texture or skin tone. Certainly, it doesn't contain the alpha hydroxy acids like drunk elephant to really more specifically target the dullness that's more associated with like skin aging, but nevertheless can indirectly provide some benefits. It also contains tannin, which is derived from chestnut, and this is a polyphenol, so rich in antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties, along with hyaluronic acid, also really great at hydrating the skin, supporting the skin barrier, overall improving uh, skin hydration, skin texture, and skin tone. All right, so lastly, comparing Drunk Elephant and Isntree, Drunk Elephant is more a blend of AHA and BHA versus Isntree has predominantly BHA, but both will help with uneven skin texture, skin tone, as well as pore congestion. I feel like if you're comparing the two, I think of Drunk Elephant mostly for those that also have anti-aging concerns, but at the same time wanting to refine pore congestion and pore size, while Isntree is really predominantly helping with pore congestion, pore size, but at the same time may help improve skin texture from like aging. So it's one of those things where if you use a chemical exfoliant regularly, whether it's AHA or BHA or both, you're gonna get some benefit because of just the way chemical exfoliants work. So there you have it. It's my last swap. Let me know what you guys think of it. And if you've tried this one from Mr. Tree, I would love to hear your thoughts as well. All right, guys, there you have it. Using only Korean skincare products, substituting for high-end Western beauty products. I mean, what'd you guys think? Definitely there were some challenges, limitations, but overall, I'm pretty happy with my suggestion. Now that you know the high-end products I've suggested, if you have better skincare swaps using only Korean skincare products, let me know in the comments below. Or if you have other ideas, kind of different version of this, I would be happy to make more. Just let me know what you want me to film next. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.